What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I wanna to show you guys how we could take something like this and we could turn it into a 3D object using just our cell phone and reality scan. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So to get started, I wanna walk you guys through my process of how I set everything up, starting with the stand that I built here. So as you can see, I have like a bar stool set up. I have a couple of books stacked up in there. I have my Beeple books. I have some printer paper. I have a roll that you actually put paper towels on. And then I put a scully hat on there because I'm gonna be using this hat right here and putting it on top. And so the hole in the back there, I didn't want to have it like have any other color in there besides black. So it's just experimenting and see how that would work out. So I put the scully cap over top of the toilet paper and then I stacked everything on top of there. And then I put my into the AM hat on top of it and made sure it was completely still before I started doing my photo scan because you don't want it moving around. That's gonna mess up your scan and everything there. And you don't want that. And speaking about into the AM, I wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video. It's the shirt that I have right here and the hat that we're gonna be photo scanning. But for anybody that's been following me on like Twitter or Instagram or even if you watch my YouTube video about how I've been starting out a fitness journey into the AM has actually given me some shirts to work out in this is extremely comfortable the lounge in the workout in and they even do some fun stuff like photo scanning and for me you know I always like to support local businesses in which into the AM they're located right here in Southern California now right now you could get a graphic tee bundle three for sixty dollars or a basic tee bundle three for 49.95 and you can still save 10 percent using my affiliate link you can see they even have like hoodies and joggers and all types of good stuff there so into the am thank you guys once again for sponsoring the video make sure you click on the affiliate link down below where you can save 10 percent on anything that you got there like i said i'm rocking the basic tee right here extremely comfortable and if you want to get gains like these and not rip your shirt make sure you rock into the am and so getting back into the scan once i had everything all set up all I did was I grabbed my iPhone here. This is on iOS only, so you can use an iPhone or you can use an iPad. I opted to use the iPhone 11 here just because it's small and compact and easy to walk around the subject with. But what you wanna do is basically make sure that you have your item that you wanna scan always in the view of the phone here. So I usually take a photo and then maybe walk over a couple of steps, take another photo. You wanna kinda keep them close as you can inside of your viewport there on your phone. And the cool thing about it is if you actually step back a little bit you can actually see every position that you took your photos in and so this will help you make sure that you're not missing any type of areas as you're walking around so i like making one full circle all the way around the subject and then what i'll do is i'll lower the camera down maybe to like the level of what the object is and then do another full circle there walk around it again raise it up a little bit make sure you're hitting some stuff up top and then once you do a couple of circles, then you wanna make sure you're photographing really up close to get some of that finer detail in there. So I looked at like the Into the AM logo, made sure I had that in focus, took a snapshot there, move further back, make sure I get like the brim and everything, maybe even take some photos underneath it just to try to get some of that detail underneath there as well. And if you also go inside the app, you can actually crop in only the stuff that you wanna take a photograph of. So after you make like one full circle around your subject, you should be able Able to start getting the mesh in there you'll see like these green dots yellow dots and red dots the green dots mean that these are actually good scans the yellow dots or the orange dot means it's processing but you could probably take some more photos in that area to give it a better scan and the red dot means that it's having troubles in those areas but what you could do once you start really getting the shape of your object which i have the hat right here you can actually crop it like with this like 3d holographic box in there make sure you crop it to the subject that you want to scan and then you can continue scanning around again and you're making sure that you're not picking up anything else in the area that you don't want to scan like my dog back here dookie he always tries to get in these videos here so you want to make sure you crop your objects out so you're not getting any objects in the background like that so once you're done scanning, you get about 200 images to work with. So I would suggest using all 200 of the images. Even if you did a full rotation around a couple of times and you think it's pretty good, I would say use the allotment of the full 200 just to make sure you get some quality shots in there and you went as far as you can to the extent you have there. And then once you're done, you're gonna hit the preview button there up top. And this is gonna bring you to this view where you can actually see like all the photographs and where they're located inside your area there. And it's gonna start stitching these together as you can see down there at the bottom. 
Now, once everything is done here, you can actually start to calculate it up there on the cloud. So you wanna make sure you start the processing and this might take a couple of minutes. So what I personally did was I hit the process, took my dog out on the walk about 15 minutes later, came back and it was completely done. So once it's actually done, you can upload it to Sketchfab and this is where you're gonna be able to pull your 3D model down from. And then with Sketchfab open, all you have to do is come up here to the top right corner and you're gonna come down here to models, make sure you have an account with them first. And then this is gonna bring up all your photo scans in here, in which this is the latest one that I just scanned. So let me actually click on this one, see what we came up with. I did a scan last night too, so we could check that one out as well. But this is what I came up with with the current scan that we have. So you can see if I pull in here, this is actually pretty good. You can see the lint and everything on the hat, which means I actually wear this hat a lot, as you can see, ever since I got it. So it does show like all the wear and everything on there, which is really cool. We can see that we kind of still bring in the scully in here and which you can bring this into like a 3D application to go clean that all up. If I did this again, maybe I wouldn't use the scully in there just because it's actually picking this up really well in which that's going to take a little bit to clean up there. So again, this was all experimenting. Maybe I would put something else in there just so it doesn't pick it up as well. But as we're moving around a 3D model here, you can see it picked up the scan pretty well. Like, I mean, there's something going on with the brim here for whatever reason, it didn't fully pick up the brim. But let me actually look at the scan that I did last night. So this scan is a little bit better. What I did was same exact method that I did, did a whole bunch of scans, 200 photos and all. But for whatever reason, this one actually picked up the brim a lot better. I think I took a lot more photos underneath here. But as you can see, we have the toilet paper roll underneath there. And that's why I filled it up with the black hat today. But it looks like this one actually gave us better results. So when you're doing photogrammetry, it's going to be a lot of trial and there to get exactly the results that you want. But the cool thing about this is we can actually download it from Sketchfab and you can bring it into any 3D application that you want to do any type of cleanup. So like Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, etc. You can bring it in there, cleaning it up, and it's going to give you everything that you need to make a nice clean model. And for anybody that watched one of my last videos where I showed the holographic tablet by Leia, the LoomPad 2, this is actually LoomPad 2 and it's hooked up to Sketchfab so you can actually bring it in and you can interact with your 3D model that you just photo scan with reality scan, bring it into the loom pad and look at it as a hologram. It's gonna connect everything up and it's gonna look really dope in here once you bring in your 3D model. So since reality scan is free, make sure you download it, test it out and show me some of the scans that you did. You can find me there on Sketchfab. You can like some of the stuff that I've been posting up as I've been doing experiments. And I wanna thank Into the AM for sponsoring today's video so that I could do this for you guys and keep doing tutorials like this. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave me a comment down below, some of some of your scans. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I see you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.